Hi there. Today I want to talk to you about creating user controls in C Sharp and Visual Studio. This comes in very handy if you have specific groups of controls and functions that you want to use over and over again in various applications. Instead of reinventing the wheel or copying the code over each time, you can simply generate a DLL that you can reference in your other applications. So let's start by creating a new class library. We're going to go to File, New, Project, and under Windows Classic Desktop we select Class Library. Let's call it Custom Controls. We might want to include more than one. Click OK. And then once we have our new class library we're going to come over here to the project under Solution Explorer, right click, add, user control. And let's do something fairly simple and design a control where the user can select a specific color. And just for neatness sake, let's get rid of this default class. So now as you see here, we have the user control design environment. It's a lot like working with a Windows form, except you don't have the borders and title and so on. You can switch to the code, switch back, and you can add existing controls in any code that you need. So we're going to start by adding a label and a track bar. A track bar, of course, allows you to select a specific value by sliding the control over. And let's set this label to display red and then let's set the track bar to be named TB red we want the maximum value to be 255 minimum can stay at 0 and we want the tick frequency to be 5 so that you can actually see the individual ticks or at least every fifth one. Now that we have those two controls, we can simply copy them two more times. Control C, Control V. Go ahead and align that. Let's call that green. Control C, Control V. Since the original track bar has all the right settings, no sense in reinventing the wheel. We'll just copy it and rename it. Call that one blue. And now that we have our track bars in place, let's go ahead and add a panel. We want to display the color as the user is selecting it. Don't have to make it really big, just big enough to get an idea of what the color is going to look like. So now that we have our controls in place, and let's go ahead and rename that as Panel Color, or PNL Color, something easy to remember. Now that we have those in place, now we need to add some code. Now since 
all three of these track bars are going to do the same thing. I want them to point to the same method. No sense in writing the same method three times. So let's double click on this track bar. It generates the default method of scroll. We're going to rename that TB underscore, underscore scroll. Then let's just add some simple code. You can always add complexity later. Create a few int values. Int red value equals TB red value. Let's copy that. Blue value equals TB blue dot value green value equals tb green value and then what we want to do is tell this control that when the user changes the value that the color in the panel should change as well so just for Code and completeness, we're going to add a try block, a try catch block. You can do that by typing try and hitting tab twice. PL color, back color equals color from a RGB. So we can generate a color from the red, green, and blue values red value green value and blue value and finish off this catch block now we need to set the other two track bars to point to that method. So you can see in the first one if you click on the events the scroll event is already set. So now we just come down to these two, two other track bars and select the same method. And there we have the beginning of our new user control. Now you can't actually run a class library in order to test it, so what we need to do is add a new project to the solution, which is going to be a Windows Forms project that will allow us to display the control and test it within Visual Studio. So we're going to say add new project, Windows Forms app, and let's just call this control test. And let's go ahead and set that as the startup project right now so that when we hit start it goes ahead and runs. And let's go ahead and for right now let's build the solution. Now as soon as we build the solution you'll notice that it automatically adds the new user control within the same solution to the toolbox. If you were referencing an outside DLL, what you would actually have to do is right click on the toolbox and say choose items. And it might take a few seconds to load all of these, but it will show you all the available controls and other items that you can use within your solution. And you would use browse in order to browse the location of the DLL that you're referencing. But since this control is in the same solution, it's already added it to the toolbox. So all we have to do is select that, drag it over, and there's our control right there on the form. And then, as soon as we run it, you can see that as soon as you scroll over the toolbars 
every time that scroll event fires or the scroll method it changes the color in the text box so that's a brief example of how to create a new user control in C sharp and use it on your Windows forums project in the next video I'll be talking about adding events to your C sharp classes so that your user control can actually communicate with the other project that it's hosting it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Be sure to check back for future videos. Have a great day.